everybody and welcome to an overview of my gaming, editing, and streaming PC. First off, I would like to thank AMD and Antec for sending out most of the parts used in this build. If it wasn't for them, then this PC basically wouldn't exist. All of the parts can be found in the description below. So let's get started. We start off here with a shot of the front side panel of the Antec 1100 Gaming Series case. Here, look on the inside, we can see all the hard drive slides, which I'm only using one. Then we get a quick shot of the Antec 1250 cooler. That's an all-in-one cooler for the CPU. And the CPU I'm using is the AMD FX8370. And then you can see the AMD R9-280X and the EA 650 watt Platinum Series power supply. And everything is connected to the MSI 970 Gaming Series motherboard. Here we can see a nice shot of the R9-280X graphics card with the fan on the side to help keep it cool. And here is another close-up shot of the all-in-one cooler by Antec. And of course Mario. Here we can see the front panel for the 1100 case. A really cool feature is how easily you can take off the front case and put it back on like we see here. We can see I have a fan directly in the front blowing on the hard drive. I also have a fan on the other side of the hard drive cage which you seen earlier that blows directly onto the graphics card. Here we have the back of the case which has a nice spot to keep the back of the motherboard cool. You can see I have a fan in there. And here is a shot of the inside of the back of the case. Uh, please forgive my cable management skills but this is the best that I could do. And considering this is the first time I've actually tried managing the cables, I think I did a pretty good job. And Antec's case definitely has some of the best cable routing management that I've seen on any case that I've owned. You can see my SSD lying in the back there. One thing I would like to mention is that the power supply cable going to the CPU was barely able to reach. And on the back of the case we can see all of the connections for the MSI motherboard. I have no back fan as you can see there, which does not affect the CPU cooling. And then we have all of the expansion slots that would be available if I had more GPUs, a sound card, ethernet card, or anything like that. And we're back to Mario. And here we have another nice shot of Mario as well as a good shot of the top of the case. And thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more.